All right, uh, this is Mr. Trink, and the video that we're going to do right now is about how to graph a line using the x and y intercept method. So let's uh, move on to the first example, the only example, in fact, in today's lesson. So we have uh, an equation given to us in standard form and we'd like to graph it efficiently using the x and y intercept method. In order to do that we need to make the observation that the y-intercept which is going to be somewhere along the vertical axis, the y-axis, the value of x everywhere along that is zero and similarly along the x-axis where x-intercept is going to be we have the value of y equaling zero. So we're going to do this in two parts. We're going to find the x-intercept first, and then we'll find the y-intercept. So uh, we're going to say for the x-intercept, we're going to set y equal to 0. So what we're going to do there is replace the value y in the equation with 0 at 6 times 0 plus 12 which equals 0 so we're going to get 3x equals negative 12 so x equals negative 4 just dividing both sides by 3 so you know that the line is going to cross the x-axis at negative 4 and we're going to do the same uh, kind of calculation for the y-intercept so we're going to say for the y-intercept, we're going to set x equal to 0. And what we're going to do then is replace x in the equation with 0. And we actually don't need to do any rearranging in advance for this. We can just substitute directly and then do the simplification after. Simplification after is easier, of course, because uh, some stuff is going to get eliminated from the equation. So now I have 6 times y is equal to negative 12. <laughs> and that's going to give me y equals negative 2. So now I have my x-intercept, and I have my y-intercept, and I'm going to be able to graph those. So first thing on my graph, I'm going to label my axes and I'm going to put a scale. Remembering that I have to label at least one point on each of the axes. Now I can look at these axes and look for these particular intercepts. So on the x-axis I'm looking for negative 4 and on the y-axis I'm looking for negative 2. So I'm going to plot those two points and draw a line through them. And of course, remembering to put arrowheads on the end, indicating that it is not a line segment, but in fact a line that goes on forever in each direction. And if I have more than one line, I can of course be sure to label that. <laughs> that one got away from me a little. All right, thanks for watching.